Hello students, let us begin with laser amplifiers and oscillations. So what are you going to study in this lecture series? First, you will get to know the word population inversion in more detail. What is meant by metastable state? The various pumping techniques in which two methods are most important. The optical pumping method and the electrical method. Then two, three and four level uh, pumping schemes, the gain factor in laser, the optical resonator or cavity and a very detailed description of fabry perot optical resonator, then the stability effect. So let us begin. The very famous question that is asked in all exams is, what do you mean by population inversion? Discuss in detail the concept of population inversion. So, see, the word inversion comes from the word invert. That means we know that in a natural situation, the number of atoms in ground state is always greater than the number of atoms in the excited state. That means N1 is greater than N2. When stimulation emission concept is applied, this ratio is reversed. That means now the number of atoms in excited state become more than those in the ground state. So now this has been inverted from its natural phenomena to stimulated phenomena. That means N2 has become greater than N1. So this is known as population inversion. You can see in this diagram here also. This is a very necessary condition to achieve laser action. In order to have population inversion, there must be at least two energy levels and obviously a source to supply energy to the medium, the atoms must be continuously raised in their excited state. So that, that way we achieve the phenomena of population inversion. That means artificially creating more number of atoms in a higher energy state than the lower energy state is called population inversion which is a necessary phenomena for laser action to happen. Now, the formula here is related to N2. That means number of atoms in the excited state divided by N1, number of atoms in the lower state equal to exponential to the power of minus E2 minus E1 divided by KT, where K is Boltzmann constant and T is temperature. A very famous question which is asked in section A of your question paper is show that population inversion is a condition of negative temperature. Now, what do you mean by negative temperature? Now, you can see this formula N2 upon N1 equal to E to the power of minus E2 minus E1 upon uh, KT. Here, the negative exponent indicates that N2 will be less than N1, but for stimulated emission to dominate so that laser action happens, N2 will be greater than N1. This is possible when this quantity T here will become negative. So minus minus will become plus. So population inversion is basically a case or a state of negative temperature. Negative temperature here does not mean lowering of temperature below zero degree. It only means maintaining a non-equilibrium state. Next question that is asked is, is a very common numerical which has been asked many number of times in your exams. It has been included with the definition of population inversion. What do you mean by population inversion? And you have to find the temperature where you have been given the ratio of N2 upon N1 and you have been given the energy value. So once again, N2 upon N1 is equal to E to the power of minus E2 in minus E1 divided by KT. You 
go to the ratio of your population inversion and you change the energy which has been given to you in electron volt into joule. The volume for uh, Boltzmann constant is 1.38 into 10 to the power of minus 23 joule per Kelvin. Once you put these values here with a simple calculator, you find out the value of temperature. Meta stable state. This definition has been asked many times in section A. Meta stable. These are states that are excited, particularly the electronic states in laser gain, which have a relatively long lifetime due to slow radiation and non-radioactive decay. See, metastable state, the number of atoms in excited state is more than that in the lower state and metastable state here, the atom is staying for a longer period of time compared to your non-metastable state. And the dropping of atom from metastable state to ground state will only give rise to laser light. So you can have a look at another diagram here. Metastable state, lifetime is greater than 10 to the power of minus 8 seconds. And the ground state, when atom falls from metastable state to ground state, it gives rise to laser light. But when it is falling from any ordinary state to the ground state, it is not giving rise to laser light. So it means that atoms are going to stay here for a longer period of time as a result, the phenomena for stimulated emission will also be fulfilled. So no population inversion will take place and no laser action will take place if metastable state does not exist. Active medium, a medium in which population inversion can be achieved is known as active medium and the material in which the atoms are raised to the excited state to achieve population inversion is called active center. So the necessary conditions for laser action to appear is population inversion, metastable state and a set of optical cavity.